I'm Alan Johnson, KU2Y, and this is the CubeSat Sim Mainboard Part 3 Initial Testing. So we have our uh, partially complete mainboard here. We've done Part 1 and Part 2. So we have all the INA419 sensors on, but we do not have the battery charging or the, uh, or the 5 volt regulator. We also have our Pi Zero. Uh, or Pi Zero W or Pi Zero W2, whichever we're using from the um, software step. And we have the uh, micro SD card that we, uh, that we downloaded or, or programmed um, that we tested then. So what we're going to do now is we're going to test these INA419 um, boards. So first thing I'm going to do is, uh, is to plug the Pi Zero into the bottom of the main board. So I flip it upside down and then I carefully line up the pins here and put it in there. Okay, so that's ready to go. So now all I need to do is, uh, is plug in uh, my micro USB cable, which is connected to either a wall plug or a USB. So because, uh, because we haven't installed any of these battery charging components here, um, it, is, it is safe to power the Pi directly uh, using the micro USB. Once we've completed this step and installed all those, it's no longer safe to do that. And we need to power it through the battery. And, um, and, and if we need to plug in a micro USB charging, we plug it in here. Um, so we're not going to plug in directly to the Pi after this step. Okay, so I'm just going to get ready. I have my uh, Raspberry Pi ground station set up here, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna share my screen so so that we have that to to look at, and uh, this is based on the Fox in a Box version three Raspberry Pi image um, that you can download from um, from Burns Fisher's uh, website. Um, you can also get a micro SD card with it uh, with it already installed uh, from the AmSat store. All right, so I'm going to run it here. By the way, I'm I'm running a VNC viewer, and my my Pi, um, which is which is mounted behind this touch screen here, um, is connected on my network. That's how I'm able to connect into it, and that way I can share my screen. So I'm going to run Fox Telem. If this is the first time that you've run it, uh, uh, it's going to prompt you for your um, for your profile, and um, the two profiles are Fox in a Box is for if you want to receive telemetry from AMSATs on orbit CubeSats. And the CubeSat Sim profile is if you want the ground station for the CubeSat simulator, which is what we're doing now. So you either double click on that or click on it and say open. And now, uh, now Fox Telem will open. Now I also have my, uh, my handy talkie tuned to 434.9 megahertz. That way we'll hear the signal as it starts. Uh, transmitting. Okay, so now we are now we are ready. Uh, you can see um, you can see that the CubeSat Sim BS, BPSK and CubeSat Sim FSK um, spacecraft are installed. We're currently running the RTL SDR. It's it's just off of off of screen here, um, and you can see there's no signal there, but it's all ready all ready to go. And uh, so now I'm going to plug it in. Um, and if I plug the micro USB here, uh, we'll see a little blink here indicating that the Pi is, uh, is powering up. And uh, let's get that going. Now, um, when it comes up, it first does the, does the CW ID. So you'll hear that, uh, hear that Morse code transmission. And then it takes about another 30 seconds to, to begin transmitting telemetry. And uh, um, it'll it'll start up in whatever mode you you last had it. The green LED is on, so it is software is running. Um, if it's the first time you're running it, then it's going to default to the FSK DUV, the frequency shift keying data under voice, and um, that should come on in just a minute here. There we go. Now notice it's actually not tuned, um, probably because this has been running for a while. So, uh, and, they, and hopefully now uh, when, when it starts transmitting, it should lock in and it's actually not locking in there. So I'm just going to click 
near the peak there, and then it should automatically tune. Ooh, interesting. There it goes. <laughs> I haven't seen that before. Now it's locked in. You see it's, uh, it's, it's tuned right to the peak there. And initially, this is just a carrier. That's why, uh, why we don't see any data. Um, ah, there we go. Now, now we do. You can hear, hear the sound. It's kind of like a rumbling sound. Some people call it the freight train, uh, which is the uh, data under voice um, 200 hertz signal. We can see a nice digital signal here and an eye diagram. And you can also see down the bottom here, the frame count is, is increasing. It's up to three now. And if we go under CubeSat Sim FSK, um, we will see some, see some data here. All right. So the first one we're going to do is the five volt bus uh, voltage sensor test. And if you look here under PSU, which stands for power supply unit, um, the voltage is reading um, five volts. So that's good. Um, now, the five volts is actually coming from this uh, micro USB power. Um, now, notice the current says uh, minus one milliamp. <laughs> that's basically reading zero. The reason it's reading zero is that this sensor is set up to record um, the current that's coming from the five volt regulator. And since that's not installed, the current's going to read zero. The current is actually coming from our from our charging cable here. Um, when we once we build the rest of the board, then we'll see we'll see the current there. Okay, that's good. Now, if we look at all the other ones, you see the battery voltage here. Um, it's 0.8 of a volt. The plus X panel 0.8 plus Y. They're all about 0.8. Um, that just, that's just uh, that's what these INA419 sensors read when there's nothing connected, when they're open circuited. Um, it won't always be 0.8, it might be 0.9, it might be 1, but it'll be somewhere around that. And, uh, and all the currents are zero, as you can see. So that looks good. So I'm, I'm also going to show you how to do this using the, uh, using the, using the terminal, using the command line, instead of, uh, instead of Fox to Lent. So I'm going to stop sharing this, and instead I'm going to share uh, a Windows uh, command line. This could also be your Linux command prompt. And uh, I'm going to SSH into the uh, CubeSat SIM. So that's um, SSH space pi at CubeSat SIM dot LAN. You could also run PuTTY if you want to. That's a graphical uh, Windows program. Return there. And uh, hopefully we will connect. Yes, asking me for a password. And if you haven't changed it, it'll be the default um, Raspberry. Hit enter. And uh, now we should be connected. Yep, we're logged in. Um, this is the pre-built image, so it has so it's telling you that it's got the CubeSat Sim software and automatically running. Uh, tells you how to update it, CubeSat Sim update, and also tells you how to um, how to config uh, configure it as well. Okay, so uh, I'm going to um, access the telemetry um, directly on the Pi itself. So there's a there's a uh, an application called Telem for telemetry, and it's in the CubeSat Sim directory. So if I do that and hit return. Um, it will uh, basically query uh, the sensors. So it runs the same code that the automatic code runs. Uh, and then this data then is then transmitted. So you can see it's reading basically the same thing. Uh, 0 0.85, 0 0.84, 0 0.83, all the currents are zero. And there is the bus, which is the five volt um, reading uh, 5.00. So that looks good. So we've, we've tested this in two ways. We've verified that the five volt one actually works, and we've also verified that the other ones appear to work. The fact that they're uh, that they're reading about one volt, if they read zero or if they read like 16 volts or something like that, that would be an indication that there might be a problem with your with your INA uh, 419 board. Okay, um, so let's move on to to the next uh, to the next test which is the uh, battery voltage uh, test. 
So I have my, uh, my battery board here, which I built, and my battery um, cable. And I'm going to carefully uh, plug that in here to uh, the, the JST connector that says battery. Now note, it's not going to power, uh, it's not powering the, the CubeSat SIM. Um, so I'm just going to plug it in here. Okay. And, uh, and so now I'm going to query the telemetry. And I'm also going to uh, uh, check it on the ground station too. So I'm just going to rerun this command. You can just do up arrow. Uh, we'll bring up the previous command, or you can just retype it and hit enter. And it's going to query the sensors. And you see now, uh, notice that the uh, that these null voltages here are reading a little different, 1 volt, 0.98, which is fine. But now the battery says 3.92, which is good. Um, your, uh, if your uh, nickel metal hydride batteries are somewhat charged, you'll get a voltage range around 3.8, 3.9, 4 volts. So that's good. That suggests that the battery uh, sensor is working. And let's also check, um, check Fox Tolem. So uh, we will switch there. Okay, it looks like, oh, okay. I accidentally pulled up a graph here, <laughs> uh, but let's have a look. So we're still getting our signal and under the uh, CubeSat SIM FSK tab. Yep, now we can see the battery voltage is, uh, is 3.9 volts. And the current again is zero because this battery pack is not, it's not powering the CubeSat SIM right now. Once we mount the other boards and run it, um, then we'll see some current there. And the rest, rest of them are reading uh, one volt. So, so far, so good. So now um, let's do uh, one more thing. Um, so the final test, let's do a uh, solar panel test. So I have a solar panel and I also have a, uh, a uh, cable here. So I'm going to um, plug it in. Here, if I get it aligned the right way. There we go. Okay. And um, so I'm going to plug this into the uh, plus X solar connector, which is right here. And uh, once I do that, then uh, the plus X panel, instead of reading one volt or 0.8 or whatever, it should read some other voltage. And there's, there's enough ambient light in my room here that it should read somewhere around four volts. It's a five volt panel, um, but you won't see five volts unless it's illuminated by, um, by sunlight or uh, or a strong lamp. Okay, so let's plug that in. Very good. And uh, share screen. And we'll do both here so that we are ready to go. All right, now when you're receiving telemetry, there is a delay. So right now the voltage is, uh, is, is not reading there. So let's instead check. Oops. There we go. So now let's, uh, let's, let's read the uh, telemetry and see what we get. Enter. And there we go. See uh, plus X there is now reading 4.03 volts. And also it's going to keep reading zero milliamps because the, the charging circuit is, uh, is no longer there. All right. And let's go back to uh, go back here. There we go. And now we see the plus X panel is reading, uh, is reading 4.0 volts. So that tells us that the, uh, that the plus X panel 
sensor um, is correct and working. So again, we could we could test other uh, other positions. Uh, we could just move this solar panel to all the others um, just to verify they work. But um, so far, it looks like we are in um, good shape. So now we can continue with the main board part three uh, build.